Hello, this is MakerJ101, and in this video I'm just going to do a brief video of how I made my boiler and some of the pieces I used, um, because mainly you guys are probably going to be wondering how I made my um, pressure relief valve. Anyways, so it is a, it's a tomato sauce can, as I said before in my other video that I showed how to make it, or I pressure tested and everything like that, um, but I highly, I really do not recommend using a tomato sauce can like this just because it's not made for pressure and one of these ends could blow off if you drop it or dent this um, crease here or something like that. It could blow off and you get a terrible steam burn. So I do not recommend using a can like this. Use something like a propane tank that's rated for pressure. These cans are not rated for pressure. So um, I highly recommend you to try this yourself, but just remember, do not. Um, I'm not liable if it blows up and you get hurt. So yeah. This is for demonstration purposes only. <laughs> um, anyways, so I basically just used a three-quarter inch copper pipe here for the output and I soldered it onto a nice valve there and I just kind of crimped it around and soldered it. So that's just kind of to keep it so that the steam is more dry so that the bubbles, or when it's boiling, it doesn't get water go coming out into the engine. Um, and that's just soldered on there. It actually fractured a while ago when I was like screwing it off it started leaking a whole bunch around there just because the solder broke so it's not very strong there um, and then the uh, valve or the pressure valve is just has a little um, pipe that's soldered on there that I cut off and yeah not too complicated there a big um, like an adapter piece here and another adapter and this is the the um, pressure valve, which you guys are probably most interested in learning how I made. So it's made out of one of these uh, things. It's basically a check valve from a heat pump. So it had a uh, plunger part that was inside there and a very weak spring that um, held it sealed. So yeah, and I just kind of cut the top off. I have two of them. This is the other one. So I cut the top off and then you extract the plunger part which looks like this, has a nice neat nylon seal and it's made out of brass as you can see and then we have a spring in the back and I have this um, bolt which actually has a hole in it I don't know what this was for or where it came from but it has a hole in it and it was very convenient for using um, putting the little emergency relief valve or rod up through it so if I want to release the pressure I just pull on this um, copper um, wire here and it will release the pressure but I think I'm going to remove that feature just because it makes it 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 seems to catch and it's not as accurate anymore so I think I'm going to remove that um, so my camera's not focusing there we go so you can see that that actually I left some I made a little loop out of the um, pull wire there so that if it's if the wire gets caught the valve can still open so yeah that's how it works so I'm gonna probably take that off though just because I don't need it and it just gets in the way so and it kind of messes up the position of the spring as well so it doesn't seat as well so it doesn't seal um, but and then I just soldered a big nut on there that has I think it's a uh, it's a crown nut maybe king nut or something like that um, but it's for like you put a cotter pin through the shaft or the um, through the bolt there's a hole in the bolt you put a cotter pin through and it keeps it so it can't screw off so yeah that's what my pressure valve looks like so this goes in here and then this bolts right on there and by tightening this down or loosening it, you can adjust the tension on the spring and thus when it um, releases pressure. And it works really good actually. So yeah, that's my pressure relief valve and my boiler and everything like that. So not a lot to it really. Um, so yeah, that's, but I'm going to be making a new boiler um, when I get a um, 16 ounce propane bottle, one of the little bit bigger ones. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be coming soon, and it's going to be a much nicer and uh, more elaborate boiler because it's going to have a, um, a fluid tube running through the boiler so that it um, is more efficient. That's about it. Thanks for watching.